town. Lots of things to do and see. It's so much fun to be a part of Busy Town. We'll keep your spirit soaring while we're exploring our busy world. The Busy World of Richard Scary. I should never have allowed the traveling circus to use my lot. Look what I get for my generosity. Noise, nuisance, people, bah! Ah, it's over. Finally, I'll get some peace and quiet. <laughs> How are we gonna get this big pole down? Easy. First, we take out the stakes. Food. Wolfgang, why don't you pull that one out? <clears throat> no stakes. What's going on here? Circus away from my... Gee, I wish the circus would stay here all year long. Well, I don't. They make too much noise. But the circus was so much fun, Mr. Gronko. And everyone can hardly wait for their visit next year. Keep it steady. Watch it. Uh -oh. This way. There. Hey! Oh, no, not on my house. Oh. Sorry about that, Mr. Gronko. No, that does it. No more, ever. This is the last time I'll let that circus use my lot. I don't want to have anything to do with circuses or people or anybody ever, ever again! Mr. Grunkle doesn't seem very happy. Neither does the sky. Looks like a really big storm is coming. We better get home. <laughs> There you are. My goodness, I was so worried. Sergeant Murphy wants us to leave the house. There's a flood warning. Wow! A flood? When? It's not here yet, but the water is rising. To be safe, everyone should go to the shelter I've set up at the Busy Town Ski Hill. This must be the biggest storm ever. <gasps> I better get my police boat. Here, boys. Lay this off for me, please. Sure, Sergeant Murphy. That should do it. Thanks, boys. It's dangerous down here. You should be inside where it's dry, drinking hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Murphy. Cat family, sprout, turnip and soybean, all the stitches, and Hilda Hippo. Your emergency center was a fabulous idea, Sergeant Murphy. It's like one giant party. <laughs> and every party needs a hostess. Here, have some hot chocolate and donuts. Why, thank you, Hilda. <gasps> but you're all wet. I'll mm. get you some blankets. Hmm. Here you go. I'll have you warmed up in no time. <laughs> Thank you. Blanket should be enough. Well, it looks like everyone's here. Everyone but Mr. Gronkle. 
You haven't seen him? Oh, we saw him, and boy, was he angry. He said he didn't want to see any people anymore, ever. He locked himself up in his beach house. Oh, no. That part of town is completely flooded. Be careful, Sergeant Murphy. There's Mr. Gronko's beach house. We're safe. Mr. Gronko, let us in. We need shelter from the flood. Mr. Gronko! Mr. Gronko! More people in noise. Well, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Oh, no! Help! Save me! Don't worry, Mr. Gronko. We'll get you out. Give them a push! Well, at least the bed floats. <laughs> we can even take a nap. We still have to get out of here. Up aboard, everybody. I think my police boat is more seaworthy than a bed. Another sip of hot chocolate, Mr. Gronko? Yes, thank you. Thank you all. You saved my life. It was Huckle and Lonely who told me you were still in your beach house. How silly I've been to think that people are a big nuisance. You people are wonderful. Hey, look! The circus is back! The road's closed because of the flood. You're welcome to stay here till you can leave safely. Yeah! No! No! Oh. I don't think they should stay in town. I think they should stay at my beach house. Hooray for Mr. Bongo! Hooray! <laughs> Imagine that. Here, Lonely. Space shuttle ready for blast off. Countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. The space shuttle is a special plane. Only astronauts can fly. Rockets boost it into outer space. Then break off and float down through the sky. Round the world go the astronauts. Working day and night. Trying out experiments or launching satellites. And when the astronauts have done their work, they head for Earth again, where the shuttle lands as easily as if it were a plane flying on the space shuttle. Steady and touchdown! <laughs> It's a good thing the real shuttle is built better than this one. Welcome to Canada, a huge country with many lakes, big forests, and the snow-capped Rocky Mountains. Oh, look, an avalanche. There's the Prime Minister of Canada, Mr. Bearskin, and his bride, Mrs. Bearskin. They're taking the train up to beautiful Lake Louise for their wedding reception. Whoa! Look at that cake! Cucumber and Pickles have come to take the Prime Minister's wedding pictures. We'll get great pictures traveling through the Rockies. But I'm counting on you to get those wedding shots of the Prime Minister up at Lake Louise. I need lots of pictures. All aboard. Gotta go. Our train is leaving. It just left. Hey! hey wait wait up. up! We've got tickets! I don't think Editor Eddie's going to be very pleased. May I be of assistance? I'm Constable Raccoon of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. My name is Cucumber the Photographer, and this is my assistant Pickles. And that was our train. Do you know when the next train is? 
Oh, sure, in about a week or two. <gasps> but I can help you. You can? Oh, I'm mighty hungry, Husky Blue Eyes. <sighs> There's no real food left anywhere. How about filet of sole? Fish? No, no, sole of shoe. <laughs> Hey, hey, that sounds like the Lake Louise train. I'll bet they've got plenty to eat on board. And since we can't dine in, why don't we dine out, eh? <laughs> Come on, Grizzly Jack. Gee, thanks for helping us, Constable Raccoon. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police are always on hand to serve. Don't these things ever come with engines? Or brakes? How do you know they have a dining car on board? They don't have a dining car, but they do have a supply car. And we're going to stock up our kitchens with their supplies. But how are you and I going to stop a moving train? Gee, I uh, never thought about that. That wasn't so hard. Tell that to my aching bottom. Food and cake. Mm, this is gonna be good. What are you doing, eh? We're going to take the whole boxcar and eat like kings for a year. Wow, where will we put it all, eh? We'll have to buy a refrigerator. Train! I wish it would stop and let us catch up. Well, that ought to do it. Bye bye, train! Hey, how do we get it home? I'm not gonna push it. Well, would you look at that? The box car is rolling back by itself. <laughs> Hooray! My wish came true! I don't think so, Pickles. Look! Uh-oh. I can't wait to try some of that wedding cake. Hey, there are people on that boxcar. Well, I'll be. That's Husky Blue Eyes and Grizzly Jack. They're stealing that boxcar. We've got to stop them. Constable Raccoon, do you think a little avalanche could help? Good idea, Cucumber. Come on. Pickles, set up the equipment. This is gonna be a great shot. Boy, you sure are smart, Husky Blue Eyes. Oh, yes. I think we are the best robbers ever. Hey, we're almost home. That's it. It's working. Hey. Say cheese! Smile! It's lucky you're not hurt. How did you get on that boxcar? Ah, oh, well, uh, you see, uh, we got caught in an avalanche and uh, landed on the train. Uh, how'd that get in my shirt, eh? Uh, I presume it was a food avalanche. Maybe you'd like to change your story. We were so hungry, Constable. Our cupboards are bare. And uh, then we heard the train coming up to Lake Louise. Lake Louise? The wedding party! We've got to get this supply train to Lake Louise as fast as we can. There's a wedding party waiting for food and cake. And for us to take pictures. I know just how to get us there. But this is impossible. How do you lose an entire boxcar? And our wedding photographers? And my wedding cake? I didn't notice it was gone till we got here to Lake Louise. Oh, look! <laughs> <laughs> Let the party begin! Cake, cake! Cucumber, these photographs are terrific. A picture of Lake Louise, big mountains, vast forests, 
And I bet that's the biggest wedding cake ever. Play it safe. Huckle, Loli, could you please bring out the charcoal? <coughs> I think you boys better clean up before dinner. In the morning, it's amazing what a little soap and water can do. Washing your face when you wake up can make you feel brand new. Clean teeth, clean hair, a little scrub will make your face clean everywhere. It's amazing what keeping clean can do. Quick before you eat, right after you play. Wash your hands and wash that dirt away. Rub a dub dub, it's amazing what a shower or a tub can do. Wash your hair with a little dub of your rub a dub dub shampoo. From your head down to your feet. Soap and water, feel good smell. Oh, so sweet. It's amazing what keeping clean can do. What keeping clean can do. Dinner sure smells good, Dad. Almost as good as you do. I can't find my hat. Fiona, have you seen my hat? I've looked everywhere. John, your hat is on your head. Well, would you look at that? Right where I left it. <laughs> Huckle is the only one I haven't finished. His head keeps falling off. Well, we'll have to finish our puppet show tomorrow night. Dinner's almost ready. But couldn't we work on it after dinner? Sally, did you forget you have to get up early for your first day of kindergarten? Right. Kindergarten. Sally, Fiona, dinner's ready. But, Mom, why do I have to go to kindergarten? To learn things. Like what? Like the three R's. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. Isn't writing spelt with a W? And I thought arithmetic started with an A. And that's another thing you learn in school. Spelling. Dear, have you seen my hat? I can't find it anywhere. Mom, where's my homework? I can't find my running shoe. It's on your head, John. Huckle, your homework <laughs> is on the kitchen table, and Loli, your running shoe is uh, right here. <laughs> Thanks! Lunches are ready. One for John, one for Huckle, one for Loli, and one for Sal... Sally? Why did you put your dress under the bed? Because I don't want to go to kindergarten. Here's Sally's backpack. It was in the laundry hamper. I don't want to go to kindergarten. I want to stay home with you and finish our puppets. You'll have plenty of time to finish your puppets after school. I won't have any fun at kindergarten. You'll see. But Sally, kindergarten's fun. And you'll make lots of new friends. Welcome to kindergarten, Sally. Come on, you know Mrs. Murphy. Aren't you glad she's your kindergarten teacher? Hello, Mrs. Murphy. I better get going if Huckle and Loli are going to be on time. I'll pick you up at the end of the day. Don't worry about a thing, Mrs. Cat. She's going to have a wonderful day. Bye! Well, Sally, your first day at kindergarten. This is going to be so much fun. Staying at home is fun, too. At least at home you get to... play. <laughs> allowed at kindergarten? Well, kindergarten is full of surprises. Oh, dear. See what I mean? Nice catch, Miss Murphy. Hi, Josephine. Now, I have to go check the sandbox, Sally, but I'll be right over here if you need me, okay? Want to play ball? Uh, hey, Sally. Want to play on the teeter-totter? Hey, Sally. Want to swing on the swings? I, uh, I... No! I want to go home! Well, paper is made from 
and wood, and wood it comes from trees. So the trees have to be harvested. Timber me, step back, please. Yay! Very good. Now, there's the puzzle center, the book center, the craft center. If you know what you want to do, then away you go. decided that you don't have to go to kindergarten. That's right. You can stay home with me forever. Sally, why are you sitting over here? Isn't there something you want to do? Yes, I want to go home so I can finish my puppets. Oh, do you like puppets? Yes. Mom and I were going to put on a puppet show tonight for Daddy, Huckle, and Lowly. Hmm. Come with me. I have something to show you. Wow! See? We have everything here for our own puppet show. I have an idea. Did Sally's teacher say what this was about? No, she just said we all had to come. I hope nothing is wrong. Boy, Sally's first day, and already she's in trouble. At least you waited until your second day, Huckle. <laughs> Did you see my hat? Has anyone seen my hat? Well, class, can anyone tell Mr. Cat where his hat is? It's on your head! <laughs> well, would you look at that? Thank you, everyone. Now we can go on our trip. Whoops! That is as soon as I find my keys. <laughs> <laughs> Mom! Dad! You came! All right, children. It's time to go home. <laughs> Mom, Mrs. Murphy has her own puppet stage, and tomorrow we're going to make puppets of everyone in the class. That sounds wonderful. Especially from someone who didn't want to go to kindergarten this morning. Not me, Mom. Kindergarten's the most fun ever. What a show! 